Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. What's good? Okay, so I'm getting a message. Now, this was going to be a Divine Masculine message. Not even going to hold you. I already had pre-set my intentions on that, right? So this is what I got to say. In the past, Divine Masculine could have been working on family, trying to make that work, or trying to create one. It was like life taught you you needed to slow down, that it was no rush. It was like you had to have patience over all the knowledge that you were learning so fast. I feel like that's the past energy. The present energy, I see travel in abundance. I also see a gift, some sort of payment overflow. It's the perfect time to do journal prompting. As I'm saying, literally 30 days. Okay, something unexpected is coming towards you, okay? In the past, divine masculine had to re release in order to receive, let go. There was a lot of stubborn energy there. I'm hearing Ogun energy. Track your progress. They said it twice, so this is definitely a good thing for you to do at this time to really track your progress. Also track when I said this for this message. You can even timestamp this. You've already created your soul family, your soul tribe, your family. Any more messages about the past and present. Yeah, you're very blessed. I'm hearing Obatala energy. I'm also hearing Oshun energy. It's like some uh, Olokun. Some of you guys could be tapping in at this time to divine feminine energy. My masculines. Divine masculines tapping into that divine feminine primordial energy. I feel like that's what brought you a level up at this time. This is all about your destiny. They keep saying earth signs. Taurus was out here. It's a very significant feminine energy, though, here for you as well. Divine masculine is in your present. This is someone that you love, someone you honor, someone you embrace, someone you accept. Okay, so in your present energy, it's like you're getting a gift, an upgrade. Spirit wants you right now to focus on you. You could be wondering if somebody is lying to you. I feel like trust your instincts with something like, I feel like what went unsaid, right? Because there could be some sort of uh, deeper reflection that's needed. The letters N, L, T, S. Also the letters A, H, M. D and G. Yeah, there's some sort of overflow or something coming in 30 days. Yeah, for sure. In the present energy. Tell me more about the present energy. Yeah, it's a significant courtship. It's a significant courtship. Somebody you're dating. Tell me more about this present energy. What is this? About this present energy. Masculine energy. That's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm channeling. There's some sort of good news coming in about this courtship. I feel like sudden wealth. This could be like a divine partnership. I feel like because when it comes to the man, the man don't really look for like a level up for the woman to be like rich, right? The man is coming to the you know, do his manly duties and provide, right? I feel like, you know, divine masculine, it's like you met your soulmate. Here's where I'm hearing. It's like good news. It's like you leveled up into your soulmate connection. 
through your path, your process. It's like you're running into your soulmate. Through this courtship, this connection. It say blessed because of this union. That's why it's blessed. This union is very blessed. Yeah. It's something that you went through, divine masculine energy in your present energy. It's like you're studying almost the divine feminine energy through this courtship this time. It's like maybe you you never studied the divine feminine energy. It was like maybe you were too busy in divine masculine energy to really even absor observe nor absorb, right, that divine feminine energy. And now that you have, it's like a taste that you you, it, you can't quench it. You know what I'm saying? Without it. And it's like this connection is truly powerful. Yeah. This could also be like recreation, life. The stork often means like a baby. <clears throat> Travel. I see pack light. In the present energy as well. Main female is out here as well. You could be traveling towards a main female. I feel like you're in alignment with, with this connection. If you haven't found it or, or if you aren't, it isn't here in the physical now. I feel like you're attracting this. Look at that, the sun. I feel like you're attracting that right now. Divine Feminine again. Had to cover a blue buff. Divine Feminine again. I feel like this time is a time where you get it right with somebody. This new person that's coming in, this Divine Feminine, this main woman. I feel like now is the time that you finally get it right. Like maybe Divine Masculine, you, you found it difficult to get it right. You know, maybe you was in a community like really getting a bad reputation or something like that I'm hearing through um, courtships where y'all really hadn't, you know, the proper agreements. It's like you found, you found your match or your person. Is what it's saying with the sun. Yeah, official person. You found your person. The official person. You found a real thing, just period. Okay. So let's talk about the What's going on in the... Uh, Future. Let's talk about the future. I feel like, you know, for Divine Masculine, what I'm getting is that don't be disappointed. Um, take disappointment as an opportunity, you know. King of Cups. It's like everything is an opportunity, really, when you look into it. I'm getting like proper preparation leads to poor performance. Sometimes when you don't study a thing or you don't take the time out that's necessary to learn something, you make more mistakes, right? It's like some of you guys could take this one right out of the book, like learn from other people's mistakes or your past mistakes. This time around is what I'm hearing in the future. Tell me more future energy for Divine Masculine Collective. I feel like you get str really stronger in being able to express yourself. And that's not even a known quality of the Divine Masculine, you know. But that's because 
divine masculine you're not just in your masculine energy you're in your divine masculine energy i feel like is what it's saying i feel like that helps you prevent loss because like maybe in the past you experienced more loss because you were unable to communicate your needs or to express what it is you needed right in the future i see like for some of you guys who are single you know this fell right on the courtship card for some of you guys who are single um relationships that you didn't see coming that's an unexpected change for some of my divine masculines because maybe you weren't even looking for this and i feel like for some of my math divine masculines this is what what was needed so what i'm hearing this is what you needed to rebirth you at this time you needed a rebirth we can't deny um our rebirths or ooh, that was the devil hold on that was the devil so what it is is you can't deny your inner it's like the things that still bring you comfort or the things that still bring you joy right in your life i feel like it's like not trying to feel like you need to go without you need to sacrifice something For divine masculine i'm here it's like experiencing a lot but you don't want to feel like you have to sacrifice something at the same time not having to sacrifice i guess not having to sacrifice the emotional baggage that you were carrying is what i'm getting maybe it was just emotional baggage because oftentimes when people repress energy people repress their feelings right they end up harboring that so maybe this is like a repression and because of the repression it oftentimes led you to where you couldn't connect with the divine feminine so now moving forward in the future being able to connect on a deeper level with the divine feminine energy not just in females around you but all people's um divine feminine energy because you're tapped into your own divine feminine energy that is within you you know even if you call yourself an alpha male right we all have divine feminine and divine masculine aspects of it yes okay so i feel like in the future there could be some sort of offers or something coming towards you i feel like it's definitely love to a cups i can't make this shit up like offers of love honey Honey, boo, boo, four cups. Some of y'all wanted this to be alone, single, hey. But that's that's not what's for y'all. Y'all are attractive. And people are going after it. Like, people want what they want. And it's the same thing with you, masculines. When you want something, you go out and get it, right? And I feel like people are breaking free of these prisons that make them feel like they can't. You know, roles is being reversed nowadays. Like people going after what they want. This could be somebody you meet and travel, traveling to, fro, etc. This could even be somebody you already know. Not gonna hold y'all. You might already know them. This main female. To some degree, you might already know them because they already in your thoughts. Mm, I can't make this shit up. It's, let me cover her nipple up. Divine feminine. Main female. She already in your thoughts. That's who this is. In your future. Hello, Divine Masculine 1410. It's like you can have this. You, you know, you think that you have to have it a certain type of way. But you don't. You're not limited by your choices, by your options. This thing arises. This is this is right here. This could be somebody that's in the same type of you guys are in the same type of community as well. I feel like you you feel like you two are learning and growing together accelerating together 
ascending and evolving together. This is why this person stays in your thoughts because you always keep this person in good good uh, spirits. Like maybe you pray for this person. Maybe this person is a mature woman. I'm getting for some of you guys, this isn't a mature woman, but it's actually someone a little younger than you. And then some of you guys, I don't want to say she's your senior, but she's maybe your age bracket, right? More much on the more mature side. Lovers for love. Yeah. Future energy. Yeah. Y'all yeah, spicy. Divine masculine. This the real person. They keep showing up as the real person. The real thing. This person. Tell me more about the future. Yeah, there's a lot of attraction and chemistry there. This will be somebody like you could put your guard down with, I feel like. This is somebody who you go through and experience like a lot of good things with, a lot of good fortune with, a lot of happy times, happy moments. This is somebody who loves to smile. You know, 16, 16, this is somebody who is just happy. This could be, she could be a mother. Like a really good mother at that. If she is a mother and she's very abundant, she takes care of of her, uh, you know, her her seed. It's a great mother. So you leveling up when you find this this person because this is not just a soulmate connection. This is divine feminine. Your true counterpart, divine masculine. Boats. This is coming in pretty rapidly. I can't I can't deny it. This is coming in pretty quickly, y'all. In the future, I see you getting rid of like excess or something like that is what I see. The hermit. I see you getting rid of I said that because the five of pentacles came out. It's like excess, whatever you don't need anymore. It's like one man's trash. Whatever you get rid of, it's like, okay, somebody else could use it, you know? So it ain't no good for you, right? Yeah, because that's your truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I feel like when you're following your soul, that's when you are able to experience true inner peace. You know what I'm saying? Being led, King of Wands, to true inner peace right now. That's really where you are your present energy also you divine masculine in the future i see you in public um spaces um getting a lot of recognition and a lot of success it's like whatever you do for work um your hard work is paying off right um in the future i see that here as well some of you guys may be like real shaky or wondering about it but it's actually going to be happening and this is something very unexpected you might not see coming just because, again, divine masculine is happening to divine feminine. So you could be able to get that intuition. You know, you'd be able to get that drop and know things, right? So I'm hearing, like, divine masculine, you, like, saying, like, oh, well, I got to be in divine masculine. I got to be in masculine energy. You have to be in divine masculine energy, but I want you to do it in balance. I want you to do it in tandem as you experience, right, your divine feminine. You know, I don't want you to be held back or feel restricted. You know what I'm saying? I want you to give both of these energies, like, the time and the honor, right, and the space that they require to help you make life easier for yourself, okay? On some real shit. That's what I'm getting from my masculine message. Let me know how y'all like this one down below. I love y'all. Bye.